1 Kings chapter 8 26 O God of Israel, let thy word, I pray thee, be true, which thou hast spoken unto thy servant David my father. 27 Will God really dwell on the earth? Behold, the heavens and the heaven of heavens do not take you. How much is this temple I built? 28 Hear the prayer and supplication of thy servant, which I make before thee this day, O Lord my God. 29 That thine eyes may be open day and night upon this house, where thou hast said, My name shall be known, that thou mayest hear the supplication of thy servant in this place. 30 Hear the prayer of thy servant, and of thy people Israel, which shall make supplication in this place. Hear it in your dwelling place in heaven, and ask forgiveness. 31 And it shall come to pass, when a man shall offend his neighbor, that he shall swear by him. 32 Then hear thou thyself in heaven, judge thou thy servant, that he may set the wicked man on his head, and judge him and make him righteous for his righteousness. 33 And if thy people Israel break forth before the enemy against thee for sinning against thee, and return unto thee, and declare thy name, and make supplication and supplication unto this house before thee, 34 Hear the God of heaven, and forgive the sin of thy people Israel and bring them again into the land which thou gavest to their fathers. 35 And if the heavens be shut, and it shall not rain, because they have sinned against thee. Start prayer. 36 And thou shalt hear the God of heaven, and shalt forgive the sin of thy servant, and of thy people Israel, and teach them the right way to walk, and command that rain come down in thy land, which thou hast given to thy people for a possession. 37 When there is famine in the land, and pestilence, and drought, and pestilence, and locusts, and grasshoppers, and their enemies besieged the cities of the land, 38 And every man of all thy people Israel, which understandeth the plague of his heart, stretcheth forth his hand toward this house. And every prayer and supplication, 39 The God of heaven, your dwelling place, hears and forgives. 40 In the land which God gave to our fathers, to do all the days of their life that thou mayest be fearful of them. 41 Gentiles who are not Gentiles, your people Israel, will hear your majestic name, your strong hand, and your raised arm. 42 And if a stranger like that cometh out of a far country for thy name's sake, and straightway entreateth this temple, 43 And the God of heaven, who is thy dwelling, heareth thee and will pray unto thee, that all the people of the earth may be afraid of thee, as thy people Israel is, and that thy name may be given to this house which I have built. 44 And it shall come to pass, when thou sendest thy people to battle with their enemies, that thou shalt call upon the Lord for this city which thou hast known, and for this house which I have built in thy name. 45 The God of heaven hear their petitions and their petitions, and inquire of their judgment. 46 For there is no man that doth not sin, therefore when they sin against thee, and thou wilt be wroth with them, and thou shalt deliver them into the hand of their enemies. 47 And when they saw that they were gone into captivity, they repented, and prayed unto thee, saying, we have sinned, and have done wickedly, and have done wickedly. 48 And when they shall return unto thee, with all their heart and with all their soul, in the land of their enemies which they have taken captive, 49 The God of heaven, thy dwelling place, heareth their petitions and their petitions. 50 And forgive thy people the sin which they have committed against thee, and all their transgressions which they have transgressed against thy commandment, and grant them mercy, that they may be taken captive. 51 They are thy people, and thy people, whom God hath brought forth out of the midst of the Egyptian gate. 
52 that thine eyes may be open unto the prayer of thy servant, and to the prayer of thy people Israel, that thou mayest do unto them according to all that they ask of thee. 53 And now, O Lord God, when thou hast brought forth our fathers out of Egypt, as thou hast said unto Moses thy servant, thou hast delivered them for an inheritance unto all the people of the earth. 54 And it came to pass, when Solomon had made an end of praying unto the Lord, when he had made an end of praying unto the Lord, that he stretched forth his hands toward heaven before the altar of the Lord.